it allows them to engage in the material. So rather than me just doing a problem on the board or just yammering on about ideas, I can present, I can present math problems, uh, a set of statements, and have them pick which one is true. And they have to think about the material as they're learning it. It gives me a kind of a breaking point to draw them back to what my key points are. So it has different functions that I didn't expect from just replacing quizzes. You know, sometimes we'll have questions up that say, you know, is this confusing or not? And that gives the teacher an idea of if everyone's on the same page. And I think that would be nice in my other classes, especially those didactic learning situations where you're just kind of sitting there and listening and you think you're learning and then you leave and you're like, I don't remember anything. They're very invested in this because it's instant feedback. And that's the thing that really surprised me about iClicker is how much students value that instant feedback that they get. Personally, I kind of like to blend in in the crowd. Uh, I'm not one to necessarily raise my hand and ask a question. I think it's very beneficial for those that aren't necessarily wanting to speak out in front of a hundred people. <laughs> I think really the only limitation to using it is how creative you are with it. It can do lots of different things. And for me, as I use it every semester, I morph how it fits into my lectures a little bit more every time. The students intuitively know how to use it. Like, I don't have to spend any time telling them how to answer questions. I point them to a link in Blackboard. There's directions that set up their account. After that, it's just easy.